Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, and welcome to the Tales for Tots uh, from the Rye Reef Reading Room. Uh, and my name is Granny Jean, and I hope you'll all join in. So here we go. Are you ready? There we go. Let's see. This is, I have a, there we have a little sign there that's in my way. Uh, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. I hope we're all here today. We'll have a good time. I think we're going to go to the zoo. How do I know? I see something on the board that's a, with a Z and the O and the O. Do you see that? We might be going to the zoo. Have you ever been to the zoo? Huh? Oh, there are lots of things in the zoo that are fun. So I hope mommies and nannies and daddies uh, and nannies will, um, and grandmas, whoever is watching with you, um, will stay with us and, and help support the program and go along with us and encourage you. Okie doke. I have also at the zoo some ducks. There's always a pond with ducks in it. Sure, there are. Also some frogs, too. Five little ducks went swimming one day over and under and far far away mommy duck said quack 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 can you do that four little ducks came swimming back four little ducks went swimming one day over and under and far far away uncle duck said quack 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 three little ducks came swimming back three little ducks went swimming one day over and under and far, far away. <gasps> Auntie Duck said, quack, quack, quack. Two little ducks came swimming back. Two little ducks went swimming one day. Over and under and far, far away. <gasps> Mom, let's see, we already said mommy. How about, how about grandma? Grandma Duck said, quack, quack, quack. One little duck came swimming back. One little duck went swimming one day, over and under and far, far away. <clears throat> Daddy duck said, quack, quack, quack. No little ducks came swimming back. No little ducks went swimming one day, over and under and far, far away. <gasps> Baby duck said, quack, quack, quack. And five little ducks came swimming back. Oh, sure. They didn't want to miss out on taking care of their little baby brother, right? <clears throat> Let's see what we have here today. <clears throat> In the zoo, there were the pond and three speckled frogs. And this is a little frog that I made and he has a, a long tongue and it's a sticky tongue. Do you see that he's caught a, a fly there? And that's what his dinner is. And he goes, Bruh! like that. So can you do that as if you have a long sticky tongue too? Let's see. Three green and speckled frogs sat on the speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glug, glug. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Boo hoo. <laughs> they're there, right? And they're always there. And you sometimes you can look right in the pond and they're there, but you don't see them because they just blend right in with the algae. I'm going to take this away because I need some room for more animals. Yes, I do. <clears throat> So here we go. Wizzy Wizard, before we before we do our next, before we do our book, 
Do you have a tip for us? Oh, yes, Granny Jean. Try acting out stories with your children. To take on roles of different characters. Um, this kind of dramatic play is one way in which the child internalizes the story and understands it. So by all means, have some fun with your child in, in acting out stories. Maybe the three little pigs, the Billy Goat's Gruff. Sure. <clears throat> well, my first book is Brown Bear, Brown Bear. But some of you know this book, right? This book was written by <clears throat> um, uh, Bill Martin Jr. And he asked this nice young art artist if he would um, make the pictures. And that was Eric Carl. And this is the very first book that Eric Carl ever uh, illustrated. So brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? What do we use to see things with, huh? We use our what? Our eyes. That cover just fell off, so we'll take it off. <clears throat> And there's the brown bear. Bears come in different colors. Some are white, some are, some are black. Mm -hmm. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Let's see if you can tell me what that is. I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> <clears throat> I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck. What do you see? Ah. Ah, what is that? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse. What do you see? What do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog. What do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat. What do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog. What do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. <clears throat> black sheep, black sheep. What do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Good job. Goldfish, goldfish. What do you see? I see a mother looking at me. Mother, mother. What do you see? I see beautiful children <clears throat> looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? Okay, let's see if you can do it now. What did we see? Brown bear, red bird, yellow duck, blue horse, <gasps> green frog, Purple cat, white dog, come on, help me. Black sheep, goldfish, and a mommy looking at us. <laughs> brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? By Bill Martin Jr. and illustrated by Eric Carl. <clears throat> well, let's see, if this is gonna be a zoo, Let's get some animals in that zoo, shall we? <clears throat> I think I'm going to put a lion, a lion over here. What do you think? Oh, will he stay? I don't know. He might stay. There's a lion. How about a, rhino a rhinoceros? Preposterous. How about a jaguar? How about the jaguar up in the tree? Oh, they like to climb up there in the tree. How about an elephant? Is he going to fit on my board? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, okay, he's up in the woods there eating the trees. There he is. And there's also a gorilla. 
but he's he's somewhere else so you're not going to see him too much except in a book <clears throat> daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow the zoo tomorrow the zoo tomorrow daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow we're gonna stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. See all the monkeys scritch, scritch, scratching, jumping all around and scritch, scritch, scratching, hanging by their long tails, scritch, scritch, scratching. We're gonna stay all day. We're going to the zoo. Zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, to, to. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. See the brown bear, he's a huff, huff, a puffin. Coat's too hot, he's a huff, huff, a puffin. Oh, better stay away from that huff, huff, a puffin, or you won't stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. How about you, you, you? You can come to, 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 we're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. Well, what happened to my kangaroo? She hopped away. <clears throat> See the kangaroo? There's a hop, hop, hopping. Long tail, big long tail is a flop, flop, flopping. Joey in the pouch is a bop, bop, bopping. We're going to stay all day. We're going to... <clears throat> Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. The zoo tomorrow, the zoo tomorrow. Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. We're gonna stay all day. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be fun? I think so too. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> all those animals, they take very good care of them, but no matter how, how well you take care of animals in a big uh, zoo like that, there's gonna be fleas, right? Sometimes those fleas get on us. Can you pretend you have a little flea? Hmm? And let's see, let's start up with, uh, right here on our toe, shall we? Come on, see if you can do it. Creeping, creeping little flea up my leg and past my knee. Where's your knee? To my tummy, now he goes past my chin and to my nose. Now he's creeping past my chin to my tummy once again, down my leg and past my knee, to my toe, that little flea. <coughs> gotcha. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry. Well, <coughs> let's do that one again, shall we? Here we go. See if you can do it with me now. Creeping, creeping, little flea, up my leg and past my knee. To my tummy, now he goes past my chin and to my nose. Now he's creeping past my chin, chins, <laughs> to my tummy once again, down my leg and past my knee, to my toe, that little flea. Gotcha. And you'll see the, the animals picking, picking fleas off, off each other. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, <clears throat> the zookeeper is a very kind fellow. He loves his animals and they love him too. And this is a book by <clears throat> uh, Peggy Rathman and it's Good Night Gorilla. And there's the zookeeper. Oh, he's so tired. He's taking care of those animals, making sure they're all healthy and well fed. And, and, and paying attention to them, giving them some attention is very important. So now he's saying good night to each one of them. Good night, gorilla. Now, what is that gorilla doing? That naughty monkey, he's taking the, the zookeeper's keys. And what did he do? He unlocked the cage and he and the mouse taking a banana Follow the zookeeper home. Look at that. And the zookeeper is so tired, he doesn't notice that he's following. But, but what does that 
What does that gorilla do? He looks at the baby elephant. Do you see the baby elephant's toy? I have a toy like that. It's Babar. Oh, look, it's the same little elephant. Babar is a very famous elephant in a storybook. And there it is. And the girl is looking at the, the elephant. And what is he thinking? Oh, maybe you'd like to come too? Sure. So what does he do? He unlocks the elephant's cage. Good night, lion, says the zookeeper. Oh, no. Looks like the lion's finishing off his dinner. So thank goodness he's not too hungry. <clears throat> Good night, hyena. Good night, giraffe says the zookeeper as he goes off towards home. And there's the mouse and the gorilla and the elephant and the lion and the hyena and the giraffe. Oh, and he stops, the zookeeper stops and says, good night, armadillo. And that's a little animal on the Southwest. And he goes home across the lawn to his house. Look at that. Oh, he's so glad to get into his bed. He doesn't know that all the animals are following him. Look at that. And he goes upstairs and so do all the animals. Oh my goodness me. And there is his wife, almost sound asleep waiting for him. And here he is sitting on the bed taking off his shoes. He still doesn't know those animals are in his house. Look at that. And the gorilla is sitting right on the bed. Oh, that's funny. And his wife opens one eye and says, good night, dear. And he is sound, almost sound asleep, right? And but he answers, good night. But then there are other voices. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. And the zookeeper's wife opens up her eyes in surprise. What is all that? And she, she turns the light back on. The zookeeper is sound asleep. And what does she see? all the animals in her bedroom. Oh my goodness, what is she gonna do? She can scream, so she must know them too. Come on, she says, it's time for bed. Oh, and she leads them all back to the zoo. And here she is in her nightgown and slippers. She has a flashlight and she takes the gorilla by his hand and says, come on now, you've got to go back to bed. <clears throat> Does mommy ever do that with you when you get out of bed? And there she says, good night, zoo. And she's half asleep herself. And who's coming back? <laughs> Looks like the mouse and the gorilla. <laughs> uh oh. And she's, oh my goodness. Good night, dear. Good night says her husband and she doesn't see the mouse or the gorilla crawling under the end of the bed there <laughs> she's tired too she works hard i bet she works in the zoo too what do you think good night Zzz. the little mouse says good night and what does the gorilla say Zzz. looks like someone ate that banana Huh? Good night, Gorilla, by, by Peggy Rathman. It's such a fun book. <clears throat> well, my gracious me. To get there, some people had to go by train, right? <laughs> so we'll pretend this is a track, a train track, right? And we'll put a engine. Of course, I, I have a steam engine, so <clears throat> we have to get the steam going there. And that's what's gonna help it go. <clears throat> and then we'll put, <clears throat> we'll put one car, we'll put the coal car there. And then we'll put the tanker. 
and then we'll put the caboose. And we'll get the line out of there. That's <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> so can you make a sound like a train? Choo, choo, choo. That's a choo choo train, right? Because he has steam. And this is how they sound it. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puff of bellies all in a row. See the station master turn a little handle. Chug, chug, toot, toot, up we go. Can you do that with me? Come on. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puff of bellies all in a row. See the station master turn a little handle. Chug, chug, choo, choo, up we go. Now, those steam engines, they made a lot of noise. Oh boy, they did. They were very exciting when they came and pulled into the station. And they had big rods that would push those wheels. And there were, and then it go choo. Here comes the choo-choo train chugging down the track. First, it's going forward. Can you do that? Now it's coming back. Can you do that? Now the whistle, and now the, now the bell is ringing. Ding, 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 ding. Now the whistle blows. Ooh, what a lot of noise it makes everywhere it goes. It's going right into the zoo, right? Can't see that too well, can you? Let's see. Let's get that up there. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. That now you can see it better, right? Let's do that again. Come on, let's get those wheels going. Choo, 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 choo. Here comes the choo-choo train chugging down the track. First, it's going forward. Can you lean forward? Now it's coming back. Now the bell is ringing. Ding. Now the whistle blows. Ooh, 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 ooh. What a lot of noise it makes everywhere it goes. Goodness me. Oh, here's a book. <coughs> it's a fun pretend book. Flora McDonald. Giddy up, let's ride. Do you pretend you're riding, huh? Riding on an elephant, maybe riding on a horse. Look at all those, <coughs> all the horses there, the elephant. Looks like a circus almost, doesn't it? And look, that little boy is pretending. And he has what? A broomstick for his horse. Sure, we all did that when we were little. This is the way the drummer rides. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that big drum he has. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And this is the way the show jumper rides. He's jumping over the over the barriers there. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and this is the way the cowgirl rides. He ah, he ah. Oh wait a minute. Oh, I'm so so sorry. This is the way the knight rides. Clankety clank. Clankety clank, clankety clank. And guess what? What's clanking? All that, that suit he has on is all made of metal to protect him. Oh, he's a knight. He's a soldier many years ago. <coughs> Sorry. This is the way the clown rides. Bumpity 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 bump. Look at that. And he's supposed to be very funny. Now here's the cowgirl. This is the way the cowgirl rides. Ha, yee ha, yee ha. And there she is with her lasso to rope the, the, the animal, the skiers, the, the um, cows. And this is the way the jockey rides. Oh, faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Ooh, they go so fast. Brrp. Ah, and this is the way the Raja rides. Bum, 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 bum. He rides on an elephant. And years ago, there was a, a Raja, and he was sort of like the king of uh, India. Yeah. 
kind of thing. And this is the way the princess rides. Oh my goodness. She rides with all sorts of jingle, ringle, jingle, ringle. She has bells on her horse. And that princess was a long time ago. Too. And this is the way the goat herd rides. Tip, tip, tippity, tip, 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 tippity, toe. Yeah, very carefully down the mountainside on her donkey. And this is the way the nomad rides. Lobbly paw, lobbly paw, lobbly paw. And that's a camel. Brum, 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 brum. And they ride in the desert. It was all sand. And this is the way the fairy rides. Swish, 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 swish. And what is she riding? She's riding what they call a unicorn, a pretend animal with a horn in its forehead. Yeah. And this is the way the children ride. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Let's ride. Yeah. So some of them riding a rocking horse. Some of them riding a broom. Some of them riding a little hobby horse. She has a horse's head and wheels in the back. Some are riding a toy elephant with wheels, right? And a big rocking horse in the back, rocking back and forth. Can you pretend you're rocking up? <clears throat> well, let's see. We have certainly a lot of animals here and a lot of things on this board. <clears throat> But we don't have is a spider web. So let's get that spider web up. I'm sure that there were spiders in the zoo somewhere, right? And this is pretty silly. One little spider, one little elephant. One little elephant went out to play on a spider's web one day. He had such enormous fun. He asked another elephant to come. How many? Right, two. Two little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They asked another elephant to come. How many? Three. That's right. Three little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They asked <coughs> They had such enormous fun. They asked another elephant to come. How many? Four. Four little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They asked another elephant to come. How many? Five. How many fingers do you have? Five on one hand, right? <clears throat> well, can you pretend you're an elephant and this is your big trunk? The elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers. He has different toes, but goodness gracious, what a nose. Woo, goes right over there. Woo, <clears throat> can you do that with me? Come on, the elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers. He has different toes, but goodness gracious, what a nose. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think it's time for our bye-bye song. So bye-bye to the, all the animals in the zoo and bye-bye to the monkey too. And bye-bye to the little gorilla, <laughs> the baby gorilla. Yeah. The baby gorilla, it's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to Babar too. And where was Babar? He was in the baby elephant cage, right? He didn't have a teddy bear, he had a baby, he had a toy <coughs> elephant. And bye-bye to the kangaroo. And the lady has a what? A pouch for her baby, right? There's her little Joey. And he, he comes out, he goes back in. So thank you, Barbara, for sending this a long time ago. <laughs> there we go. And bye-bye to my little ducks too. And bye-bye to all my friends. So glad you joined us today. See you next week, I hope. Bye-bye. <laughs>